Hey guys, so we do have the Nokia 6 on the table, and I want to do a quick little unboxing and first look at the device here. Uh, this is Nokia's comeback for 2017. They're also going to be releasing a Nokia 8 flagship very shortly. Uh, so this one is more of a mid-range handset, but it does come with some decent specs, and uh, isn't uh, the most expensive phone in the world. So we're going to unbox it here, see what Nokia is bringing to Android. Uh, I haven't unboxed a Nokia for ages. I think the last one I unboxed was the uh, Nokia 9, Lumia 950, but that was technically not uh, Nokia, obviously. I think the true Nokia that I unboxed before was the Nokia 930. So, very uh, excited here. Uh, we don't, obviously, we didn't unbox that fake phone, but that didn't count, so uh, the 3310. We need to get a real one, actually. Uh, but this is uh, looking very promising. Uh, so, you're getting a nice silver kind of design here, uh, which glistens here off the light, as you can see. And we're just going to open this up. Oh, so it actually feels like the uh, 6P already, Nexus 6P. Uh, very nice build quality here. Wow, that is nice. Got to say, you know, I was expecting it to feel a bit more cheaper, but it's certainly splashed out here on the build quality. Uh, it's got nice chamfering around the edges, as you can see. Antenna band here a little bit, but uh, it certainly feels like a uh, you know well built product on first inspection, and that's uh, what we do want to see because Nokia was always known for having good build quality. Uh, we're just going to have a look what else you get as well, so you can see getting a little SIM tool uh, to get the SIM tray out, getting your Nokia six uh, kind of leaflet etc. Uh, so this isn't actually officially available where I am, so you can see there's a lot of Mandarin, but hopefully we'll bring the flagship version out uh, across the world because it does look pretty awesome. And you can see in terms of the cables etc, quite standard fare, not uh, too much different here. You are getting a nice pair of earphones, kind of budget though, you know we'd like to see something a bit better. Uh, but something better than nothing at the end of the day, charging cable, not using Type-C unfortunately. And that's it. So we'll put that to the side and you can see what the good stuff is here. Uh, so this uh, is a very nice looking phone and uh, we're just going to unbox here. Uh, unwrap should we say, and try not put any fingerprints on. Wow, that is a slab. That is a very nice slab, I've got to say. You know, wasn't expecting HMD to make such a good job of it, because uh, HMD is the people who own the brand now. Uh, so you can see, this is the front of the device. Wow, that is a nice build quality. Uh, particularly for those who like metal, you know, I, I'm not uh, the biggest fan of glass, and every phone nowadays seems to be coming out with glass. So this is what I want to see, you know. Huawei, uh, to a certain extent, uh, other phones as well are still coming with the metal, and that's what we want to see. So let's just boot this slab up. It feels ice cold in the hand, just the way you want it from metal, and, uh, you know, feels really good. So we are running at the Android OS here, no thought I'd see the day, but they didn't do too well with the Windows. Whoa, so we're in already, and we're just going to try and figure out things here. There we go, it wasn't too difficult. Uh, so let's just connect to my Virgin service. So you can see standard setup process here, we do have a fingerprint scanner which we can check out later. And we're in, nice and clean, no messing around, that's what I like to see. And we're just putting the brightness up here to the max. Uh, the screen doesn't look too bright to me, maybe because I'm a little bit at an angle, uh, because my tripod is being a bit annoying, might need a new one. Uh, so let's just try and bump this up to the max. So you can see, that looks a lot better actually, now we've got the auto brightness off. Uh, so this is the interface, and you can see, I think we drag up here, similar to your Google Pixel devices. And let's see the actual software here, Android 7.1.1. I'm going too fast for it, with the April patch level, uh, user experience program feedback, not bad, not bad, you do get lit keys as well as you can see at the bottom, good for when you're in a low light, uh, we can just have a look at some of the wallpapers, because Nokia did have some legendary ones back in the day, and I like it when they make an effort here, you can see they put some nice ones on here, obviously you can download some off the store that you want, I'm just going to stick with uh, the stock one here, I think it was this one for the time being, so let's have a look at that camera, and see, so it gives you some tips here, I'm going to have a look at this blue beauty, which is Really nice looking phone, the Mi. So a little bit slow for the shutter there, but you can see the focusing is pretty nice and responsive overall. I think that was my camera which was a bit slow then, but you know you can see. I think they have made a bit of a big deal about the optics uh, to distract you from the mid-range processor. And you can see here the actual image looks nice and sharp, that's what I want to see. Uh, no blurriness. So we got HDR here, spirit level, and the video recording. What is the video recording level? Where are the options? Uh, I'm a bit lost to be honest. I can see how to do the video, but I can't see what, what uh, you know, where do I go? I want to change the, ah, there it is. So, back, full HD only, unfortunately. Which isn't too big of a deal, I guess. And in terms of the actual speed and responsiveness, I've got to say it feels uh, quite snappy here, you know, going in and out of stuff. Uh, it's a Snapdragon 413, you know, I would like to have seen a uh, slightly better processor. Not liking all these pop-ups, to be honest.